Ali. Welcome to my world, bitch. Friday was Valentine's Day, so let's chat about Valentine's Day as just a general concept. Now, I personally hate Valentine's Day. I think it's garbage, and I'm not saying that because I'm single and I'm salty. Like, like I am single and salty, but that's not why I hate Valentine's Day. Like, the reason that I hate Valentine's Day is separate to that. They're two separate issues, okay? So we're gonna treat them as such. Now, I missed last week because I just moved to London this week and here I am in my Airbnb before I find a more permanent place to live. It's a mess. I see all my bags on the floor there. It's a... It's a mess. And the high calcium level in the water is affecting my skin in a very negative way and I don't like it. We're here, we're doing our best, okay? That's, that's all we can expect. Anyway, Valentine's Day. <clears throat> So I'm gonna get through this as quickly as possible because there's so much garbage in it and I just don't care. it's just so stupid. Okay, that there's this international holiday all the time that's just consumerism and crap. And I feel like we need to know why it's there and people are not aware of the full story, but there's so much to it and it is so interesting but so dumb. So pretty much there is this dude, okay? St. Valentine, okay? There's like one or two of them, okay? And they are called Valentine because they are martyrs, okay? They, that's not their original names. That's just what we know them as now because they were martyred. <laughs> they, they were martyred for the cause. I don't know if I'm using that word correctly. I still don't totally know what it means, but pretty much they were killed because of their actions and their beliefs. Don't know, okay? What you're getting is an uneducated education, okay? You're welcome. So these dudes, St. Valentine, Z, multiple, or what, I don't know, doesn't matter, okay? Now, the people at the time were saying, no, the soldiers can't get married, okay? Because if they get married, they're gonna wanna stay home with their wives and bang. But if they're not married, then they'll be more willing to go to war. So the soldiers weren't allowed to get married. But the Valentine's dudes were just like, well, they should, because love is love and we want to celebrate that. So they would marry people in secret and then they were killed for that, okay? And they were, they were put in jail and then they were killed, I think. Something like that. Now, okay, and now like a couple of hundred years later, okay, the term Valentine is thrown around as a bit of a joke. It's a bit of a meme, okay? It's like when people, you know, like last year would refer to like Salt Bay or, you know, something like it was a meme. It was something that had happened in like their culture that they would make fun of and joke about. Now, memes for us, maybe are like a couple of months. Okay, like they're relevant for a couple of months, if even that. The reason for that is because of globalization and just the fast paced world that we live in and the internet and all that kind of stuff. Whereas back then, any kind of like cultural joke, which is what a meme is, would last hundreds of years because it would take so long for it to get around, but then also like it would just, it wouldn't, it's not gonna go away, okay? It's like the plague, it's there for, like once it's there, it's there. You're not getting rid of it. You know, like 200 years later or something. No, no. People were writing letters to their loved ones, signing it, your Valentine because that would, it was kind of like a joke, like, haha, remember this thing about history that's really dumb and funny? Yeah, but also I actually love you and care about you. So it's all a joke. It's a well-meaning joke, but it's a joke. And then like early, oh, what was it? I always get confused with the centuries. Eight, I'm gonna say 1800s, 19th century something like that, okay? And mail became more of a, a thing that people, like the like post office and mail service and stuff as opposed to like a person riding around on a donkey and you know, delivering letters. That way, like a, the post office became a thing and mass production kind of became more of a thing. And so they started making pre-made cards. And so they were like, oh, you know what? We should make more reasons to buy these pre-made cards that we've got. And so they were just like, great, what a big event, birthday, Christmas, oh, congrats, you've just had a new baby. And I'm like, oh my God, what about this Valentine stuff? It's such a joke, it's such a meme, the peeps will get around it. 
And then they're like, oh my God, yes, you're right. And so then they did it and they made these cards and they it became a thing that you would kind of send one of these pre-done cards to your Valentine and then the more that consumerism came in and the more that it became like a globalized society, Valentine's Day became a thing. February 14th, it's garbage. You're welcome. So if you wanna check my sources on this, here they are. Um, also, just Google it yourself and make sure you look at it with a lens of this is all dumb and none of it matters because it doesn't. I like, subscribe, share, da da da. I know this would have been a lot more relevant if I had done it before Valentine's Day, but you know what? I was busy moving to the other side of the world, okay? Like, mm, get over it. Bye.